everybody. Welcome to Queer Games Heck Yeah for today, um, where we play through queer and indie games. We've been doing it as part of the 2023 Queer Games Bundle, but that has basically finished. It's finished, depending on the time zone you're in, it's done. And it'll be done for everyone else in just a few hours, I suspect. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Queer Games Bundle. The whole purpose of this season of Queer Games Heck Yeah is, is over and kaput. Uh, but if you missed out, you can still get the games individually. A lot of them are free. I mean, the main point of the bundle is um, not to get great value, even though it was. It's to kind of, you know, just, you know, be part of the community. So you can still always be part of the community. And maybe the bundle will be back next year. Who knows? Who can say? Anyway, so what are we playing for our last Queer Games bundle game? Because it's, like, as I said, it's just, the time is just ticking over and we've still got a little bit of time, depending where we are. So I thought maybe we could fit in one more themed game. What will we do? And I bet you're probably thinking, well, oh, maybe we should do... Maybe he'll do, like, the most popular game from the bundle. Or maybe he'll do, like, the weirdest game from the bundle. But I actually think we have something pretty special. We have a game from a developer who was rejected by the bundle. <laughs> I saw on Mastodon, <laughs> the, like the community radio of social media networking, I saw like a little plaintive tweet from someone uh, a few weeks ago saying, well, my game was rejected from the Queer Games bundle. Uh, and, you know, that instantly, I was like, oh, what have we got here? Because... <laughs> I don't know, I'm attracted to the underdog, I think. I really like to sort of seek out the bits that are a little bit strange, a little bit too weird, maybe a little bit too terrible uh, for the mainstream. As if the Queer Games Bundle is mainstream in any way. It's like, mainstream, <laughs> Queer Games Bundle, <laughs> and then maybe this game is a little even further out. But I don't know if this is the game that was re rejected. Um, but I went to their website, uh, and the links down below, you can see that the games they've got, they've, they've got a smattering of games. Uh, this looked like, I guess, um, the largest game they have out at the moment, and so I thought, well, let's give this one a go. Um, but I know nothing about them, uh, so this could really blow up in our face today, because if you have if you haven't made it into the Queer Games, you've seen some of the games we played in the Queer Games bundle, they can be, they're quite extreme, and so to not make it, I mean, maybe it was due to duration, it may not be due to content, it may be like something else, but either way, what I'm saying is it, it could, I'm excited because it's very, it could be very surprising to me too. Um, if you don't like that, if it's a little too edgy for you, oh, I shouldn't, I'm not trying to goad you into watching, like this is serious. If you don't like surprise content, just, you know, stop the stream now. Uh, but other than that, let us get ready to go. I'm just gonna move around some of the windows, okay. Rulant Tower. Um, as I said, we'll see how we go. Like, it could go anywhere. You now, it's a little Game Boy uh, game, I think. I actually think this can run on the Game Boy, according to the little caption on the website. Um, I don't have a Game Boy. I never did. I was more of a GP2X kid. <laughs> uh, um... But I, I really admire um, people that make games for old consoles. I think that's actually a real skill and a real talent. And I, if I had unlimited time and money, it's the kind of thing I would do. Like, I'd love to make, like, a Commodore 6... No, not a Commodore 64 game. I think maybe, like, a, a SNES game or would be great. You know, just a console that's, like, not completely cruel in its limitations, like a Commodore 64. Um, but something that really forces you to be careful about your colour palette. I really... That's what I... I really, really love that discipline a bit. And that's what we've got here. Okay, Ruland Tower, streamer mode. Ah, reduces, okay, so now we know it's got mature content. I mean, I suspected, I mean, anything with like a fox on it is probably going to be like super rude. Um, but we can reduce mature content and visuals. Okay, let's do streamer mode. It's a sad fact of modern game dev that I think um, if you are someone who puts like a bit of adult content in your games, you kind of need to do a streamer mode because uh, streamers are one of the way the word word gets out about your game. Although I don't think, <laughs> technically I'm a streamer, but I don't think I've shifted one unit. So sorry, people. Uh, watch intro, skip intro. Uh, well, let's watch the intro. Um, is there sound? 
Ah, okay. I've got a bit of sound in my headphones. What about you? Um, yeah, I think you got. I think that's good. It's time to hunt for a new home, one friendlier to your very loud social events. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, a good friend recommended a new place. I mean, I'm loving these graphics. Like, Rulant Tower, Parody Paradise, referral bonus. Oh, referral bonus seventy-five dollars. Couldn't be any worse than couch surfing. Another queer game that alludes to being borderline homeless. Very common theme in queer games. I wonder why. Um, <laughs> is there anyone poorer on the planet than a queer game developer? <laughs> um, this is this is gorgeous. I'm loving this pink. I'm loving this purple. I love the pink more than the purple. Cool graphics. Uh, can we talk? No. Graffiti. <laughs> um, trash. It's always a bit dodgy when you see a, <laughs> a cute animal standing next to the rubbish bin. If you want the front desk, it's up front. If you want a good time, I'm not a cop. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm already liking the vibe of this game. Oh, oh no, there's the door. Wait a minute. You don't have a key yet. Can't get in this way. Oop. Okay. We'll figure it out. Okay, here we go. That's it. <laughs> it looks a little bit um, latexy, if you ask me. Bus stop. Ah, new in town? Yes, this is Rulant Tower. The giant RT is probably a big giveaway. I mean, the RT could stand for Russia Today, the um, state-funded broadcaster for the Russian government that has recently been kicked out of most of the countries around the world as uh, pure propaganda. Um, so maybe this this whole game is like a Russian-funded PSYOPs event to target the, the furry community. Um, and we're just walking right into it. Maybe the Queer Games Bundle were smart enough to recognize, like, fascist propaganda when they see it, and they've like quite wisely said, no thank you sir. And Queer Games Heck Yeah has blundered into it. Well, we have to talk to a giant cow. Well, regular sized cow, I guess. When is that bozo coming going to open up already? We gotta chat about this dumb repair bill. Mrs. Coopeach. Now, so me not being a, a, a Nintendo kid, I don't really know my galaxy of Nintendo characters. So maybe each of these characters is a hilarious parody of um, like a Nintendo character from like Mario or Animal Crossing or something. But I don't know. So if, it, if they are hilarious parodies and I'm not laughing, that's on me. Um, please just chuckle away yourselves. I explained it to you already. We didn't charge for the first five de demolished walls, but we have to draw the line somewhere. <laughs> Frowny face. I ain't made of gold coins. Um. Hi, you must be the new tenant. Is that right? It's so good to meet you. I'm Shizabel. Shizabel? Shiza... Shizabel. Heart. Billing, repair, I'm your go-to assistant. Now I need you to sign, I need you to sign just a few papers here. Question mark. Kyanal, huh? That's a uh, unique name. Oh, like the lovely crystal, Kyanite. But what about that last P, you know, forget it. It'll be just a few moments to finalize these. Maybe introduce yourself to your new neighbors. Oh, oh I've already done that. Hey pal, sorry for all the shouting. I ain't what you'd call the dainty type. Being queen's a tough job for tough women. Maybe it's not a cow. Maybe it is like um, I like I'm moderately aware of some Nintendo. So is it like a King Cooper kind of situation here? King Bowser, King Cooper. <laughs> oh. Are you sure you don't want to introduce yourself? Oh, to who? Oh, do they just want us to? Ah. Keep your nose clean, no stealing. 
Trust me, I'll know. Oh, there's a pool. That's pretty cool. I mean, this graphics are really quite good. Hey, treasure. Rogue's my name. The name you need to know, anyway. When you get settled in, we should hang out. Ah, bat puns. Oh, is it a bat? Don't mind me, Gem. Just relaxing and watching the water sparkle. Ah, aquamarine. So wait, I missed that. It, whether it was rouge or rogue. Oh well. Can we go for a swim? We can! That's really, really great. Changing rooms being cleaned. Yes. Alright, I'm going to check the calendar. Cool pool rules. Always get consent. Clothing is optional. Safety is not. Please clean squishy after use. <laughs> uh. What's this giant glowing star? Save game. Yes. Yes. Save, yay or nah? Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder if this is an Australian game. That'd be cool. Oh. Um, oh, the stairs. There's a thing here. Jim! I love this music too. I love being strong emotionally. <laughs> I love being strong emotionally. Spa? The far seat, backed up to the furry, burly ring. You wonder if any big battles ended with splashdown. Seat parked next to the controls in the hot tub. The jets aren't on right now. Alright, what's this thing? Uh oh. Oh, a new person. Mr. P oh, I think that's MX, so what is that, Ms. Ms. Punchbag. Happy to meet. Happy to beat or uh, meet you. <laughs> Psst, hey, wanna hit me? It's not weird or anything, I'm built for it. Okay, this is hilarious, this character. Darn it, made it weird again. <laughs> That's fabulous. Oh, okay, we've got the ring. Hey, adorable. Got a class coming up, but maybe we'll throw down later? Oh. Uh, to be clear, I don't mean, you know... I don't live here, and I'm a one girl. Serv, serval, servit. So, oh, I think that's a type of animal. Is it like a ferret thing? Um, all right, ninety-nine. Sauna looks a little full. Maybe later. Can we go through people's closets? Uh, lockers. Deep gouges into the metal hint at huge sharp claws. Hmm, sharp claws. Two different assortments tucked into one locker. Short supplies stacked on top of each other. Chewing gum. So much chewing gum. There's a long centerfold of a cider bottle. <laughs> There's also a saddle and reins, but that could be anyone, really. <laughs> An archery bow and full quiver hang inside. Which is odd, as there's no place to shoot in here. Hmm. <laughs> I feel there's a bit of innuendo in this that I'm not getting. Chewing gum, so much chewing gum. Uh, yeah, this game... You know, I was a little bit scared going in, I must admit, but so far, so good. Um, let's go... Oh, down to the basement. Oh, spooky. <laughs> um, I will say... A lot of work's gone into this game, I reckon. Like, I don't know, I don't know how uh, much was off-the-shelf assets, um, but even if all the tile sets are pre-done, um, all the room building, all the interactables, that's that's uh, actually quite a lot of work. Heating room hikes her skirt. Maid's quarters hikes her skirt. Um, boiler lantern desk with diary bed. Oh, I, maybe this room wasn't finished. Oh, pardon me, mistress. Sweet, these are my quarters. Me? I am head of the cleaning staff. Hikes her skirt. So if there's a staff to be cleaned, I'm the head. Hmm. 
Okay, all that talk about <laughs> a lot of work gone into it. I think that was an unfinished room. The elevator comes automatically, but you can hammer the button to try to summon it faster. Yes. Um, oh, were you going for the bats? Rogue the butt. Hmm. Oh, the butt cave. Treasure chest. This could be one where it's gone, this isn't safe for streamers, and so I'm just going to show the text. That could pos that could be also an alternative. That's my uh, spy gear, not a treasure chest. I hope you don't have sticky paws, dear. Yes, we do. We're, we're playing an RPG. Your stuff is my stuff. Infiltration, extraction, it's covered or uncovered. Puddle? Mm. Large heart shaped bed. Okay, let's talk to this bad person. I know the urge to peek in every place can be overwhelming, but do try to control yourself, or at least be sneakier about it. Heart. Interesting, interesting. I mean, so far we haven't had any missions or anything. Oh, this is the lift? Ah. Oh. Let's go to the ground floor. Surely we've introduced ourselves to enough people now. All set, your room's 3A, third floor. Thanks for joining our little community. Oh, the GF is ground floor. I see. Another sign that it's like a like a Commonwealth game. Because uh, a lot of places call it the first floor. Uh, but in Australia, it'd be like the ground floor. Um, or Britain. Good time, 40. Okay. Third floor? Uh oh. Oh no, here we are. Phew. Um, 3A? Is it, this is us, isn't it? Your place. Keep exploring the tower first. Settling in might take the rest of your afternoon. Oh. Look around more. Okay. Caramel Volpe. I think that's a fox as well. Multiple locks. Silly and boomy. <laughs> oh. Tree stumps, ring pool. Hey, sugar, I'm <laughs> boomy. Hey, if you're. if you've got it, you flaunt it. Was that you peeping through my curtains? Um, sure, why not? <laughs> Giggle. Don't worry, little darling. Don't worry, your darling little head. If I didn't want to be seen, I'd know how to close the window. Oh, is that who we saw outside from the spaceship? That's how things work around here, so don't be worried if you get an eyeful. Hmm. Hey, fighter, you can call me Salty. Don't you just love the freedom here? And the interior decorator really went all out. <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> um... I'm not quite sure of the purpose of the game. I'm, I'm kind of liking that it is a little bit... It's like a cross between a motel and a, like a sauna that you'd find in a large city. I'm led to believe. Re... re, -nomin, re -nomins? Oh, they've actually got a room. This is a nice apartment. Uh, kitchen... I would remove this wall though, um, and have like an open plan between the kitchen and the dining room. Hey Kai, isn't this place nice? Free internet, low rent, nice neighbours. That overhead camera in every room is weird, but at least they're not hiding it. I mean, it could be Canadian game, maybe. Um, uh, computer? I'm not quite sure what the point of the... Oh, like, we don't have any quests or anything. Um, I don't know if that's the style of the Game Boy game. Or, um... Maybe I'm being willful, willfully obtuse. Sink? Toilet? It's good to see a toilet in a game. Not enough games have toilets. Fridge? Ah, oh, okay. Um, oh, what's... Laundry? Laundry and vending machines. <laughs> A folding table with handy guide. 
These sodas look a touch generic, but you're thirsty, otherwise you wouldn't be playing this game. Ha ha ha, display for the articles. What soda would you like to try? Oh! Um... Uh, okay, maybe it is an American game. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> um... <laughs> let's stick with cherry. <laughs> The tingling taste of cherry slips across your lips, or as close as chemicals get. Yep. <laughs> Don't mind me, be done after a few more times. Loads, a few more loads. <laughs> okay, now I'm beginning. Okay, I think we can see what kind of game it is. It's cute! Oh, let's go up to the fourth floor. For rent? Uh, unoccupied, locked. Okay, it is a little bit Animal Crossing. Floral? Guest bedroom? The bone zone? Slightly above bedroom? Hello my... neighbour. I'm Floral. I find myself being a motherly figure for those that seek it. If you ever need help or someone to talk to, I'm right here. Oh. Coopeach. Chain shut. The room or, or the person? Oh no, let's keep going up, let's go up to the roof. Oh wow, you can see the beach. Oh, and the sun's nice as well. Oh, what was that? Oh, we can take the lift as well. Well, I mean, we just seem to be walking around uh, getting these little snippets, but there doesn't seem to be much to do. Maybe because we turned off all that stuff. Minima and Popper. Oops. Yep, thank you. I love this dance floor. All right, shake it, Foxy Star. I'm really liking Kylie Minogue's new song, Padam Padam, just to date this video a bit. Now, that was some groove. Whoa there, tall stud. I'd like to see your sweet moves. We've already... We just gave you a show, man. I'm Papa, and there isn't a better DJ in Russia today. Watch your head and that booty. Oh, is this another lost little puppy? Min... Mini... Nin, min, oh. Minina? It's some of the sometimes a word comes along that is just like my mouth cannot do this word. Menina. Menina's my name, and pleased to meet you. Impossibly so. Little short stack humor there. Oh. Supply closet. Oh yep. Yeah. Oh ooh. A cute little supply closet. A broom, mop, and bucket. Yep. Marianne? <laughs> what is this? She levels a drawn bow at your face. You there, friend or foe? Her eyes widen and she lowers her weapon. Sorry, I can be a bit quick on the draw. Gee, they move around fast. I'm Marianne. As long as thy aim is true, I'm sure we'll get along. Thick as thieves. Oh, it's the archery. Archery target. Prime and ready for practice. Oh, did you want to try your target shooting? Let's do it. Glad to hear it. A little mini game. Okay. Wait for this perfect moment, then let it fly. Oh. I don't know what we're doing. I don't quite know how to... I don't... You can do it... Oh, okay. I thought that was pretty good for a first attempt. Um... Alright, I'll try once more. Why not? Okay. Oh, this is, um... 
Udi Lali, Splendid Aim. Why, is there a fair maiden you wish to win? Oh. Good show, you have the heart of an archer. I did archery for a little while, I was very good at it. I think because I've been staring at the pixels on a screen for so long. Um, yeah. But I don't like being outdoors that much. Because the thing about archery is you just... It's like, if it's sunny, you're in the sun. If it's raining, you, you're covered in rain. Uh, Alright, I'm loving this. This is a great set. Although this may be that they had a medieval tile set available. Uh, Alright, well... <sighs> hmm, go ground floor, I guess? Uh, yeah, first floor. Hmm. Now here there is a library somewhere. We should probably try and find that. I just saw a picture of it somewhere. Books? Maybe there's... Here it is, fourth floor. That's right. Oh, nice. What are these time machines? Maybe after it's been cleaned. A movie booth for watching borrowed flicks on site. This one is closed and rocking around. <laughs> info. An info kiosk to find your tome. Tome? Tome. This one looks to be applying a software update. The progress bar stretches off the screen. Yes. An info kiosk to score your law. Doesn't seem responsive. Looks like someone froze it after typing butts over and over again. <laughs> oh, cool. Librarian. I could get married in this library. Look at how nice this is like. This is almost like a chapel. Hey buddy, was checking out the flicks. I'm a comic. Yeah, I'll go with that. Don't get too enam enamelled with me. <laughs> I feel like it's a little Kath and Kim moment. Maybe it's meant to be enamoured. Uh, just had to tease a friend, get their goat. I didn't want to, them to get too bonely. Okay, I, th this person's just full of puns, I see. Oh. Anyway, pal, I'll leave it to you for now. Take good care of her, okay? Or you're going to have an awful epoch. It's kind of creepy, creepy little skeleton face thing. Hey, what's that behind you? <laughs> yeah, that was that was super scary. Uh, well, let's go back up to the roof. Here on Queer Games, heck yeah, we we get about half an hour to give a flavour of the game, uh, just try it out. Uh, I think we have to say that we have given this game its half hour. Um, Ruland Tower, a game from a developer who didn't quite make the Queer Games bundle. Uh, and there was nothing here that that would make me go, ah. Oh. Um, no, where am I going with this thought? Because I'm not, I'm certainly not being, I'm certainly not saying the Queer Games bundle is like, hmm, I do want to be careful here. I love the Queer Games Bundle. I love all queer game developers. Sometimes they are t they are harder to love, uh, which is why I was like, I want to see what this one was hard to love about. But um, maybe this wasn't the game that was that, that was tried to enter, uh, tried to enter. Um, because looking at their other games, I think maybe the one there was one other one that maybe it was it, but it's it wasn't released or not not finished or something. So maybe there was like a it's got to be longer than like 30 seconds to get in the bundle, which is pretty fair enough. I guess my attitude with these games is that one person, um, one person's erotica is another person exploring their sexuality, and that's a big part of what um, the queer experience is. And, you know, you do have to be, I guess, a little bit delicate about it when you're, when you're sort of looking at it, but um, it can be quite rewarding anyway. Right, well, that was Queer Games Heck Yeah for today. An interesting little one, I felt. Um, I think if this game is up your alley, I think we only scratched the surface of it. Like, I think there must, surely there must be like a little quest subsystem or something, or, or a bit more interactive uh, interactivity with the characters. Um, and if there isn't, then maybe there should be, because I think when you, like a little game like this, you kind of expect RPG elements or some kind of quest element of some kind. All right. I'll see you next time for a non-queer games bundle game. Like, I'm not quite sure how long we're going to... I mean, I think we'll keep doing some games from the queer games bundle. 
because uh, there are a lot in there. Uh, but obviously we're no longer pushing the bundle as it were, even though we never really were, we're just unofficially playing through them. Um, but we'll just keep going while it's interesting, I guess. But now we're sort of free from the bundle, so we can kind of start looking at games, just regular queer games that aren't just, um, that just weren't part of the bundle. Not because they were, because they were never entered. That's become a bit of a ramble at the end, really. Right, see you later.